Hello everybody! Today I'm going to explain how to use my Stream Ripper application. Stream Ripper is an application I made for converting online radio streams into MP3 files for use on my MP3 player. Uh, all my applications are originally made for myself and close friends, so they might be somewhat lacking in user friendliness. Uh, this is why I made this video to show you how to use my application. Uh, but this application in particular is pretty straightforward. Uh, to use my application you need .NET Framework 4.0. Uh, you can download this from the Microsoft website. Uh, I'll put a link in this video description. But you can also just go to Google and type .NET Framework 4.0 and it will be the first link. Now that is out of the way, we can go on to our actual application. So this is the application in the zip file. I'll extract it and uh, launch it. Um, and it will first ask if it should create a new directory. Uh, this directory will be used to put all the MP3 files in which you have downloaded uh, from the radio stream. So I'll click yes and you see here it makes a new directory which is called RIP. Uh, next thing we do is to find the actual radio stream. So I go to my browser and just go to some uh, uh, radio. Uh, I use Technobase FM because I like to listen to that. And I'll download the high quality MP3 version of this and I downloaded the Winamp version. Uh, here we go. So now it has downloaded this file. This uh, file is a playlist file which contains a few radio streams. So it's, this is not the actual radio stream, this is a playlist containing the radio stream. So I can just open it with some text editor and I'll see that it has two entries in this playlist and one of them is for mp3 and this is the one I want to have. So I'll copy this URL and I can just put it in my application and I'll click uh, download. You can see that this uh, is green and this is only green if it's a valid URL so uh, if it's green uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> um, it will download here you see it created the first file uh, it's not so fast because it will actually download it like it's listening to the radio so if you uh, leave this on for an hour you will have mp3 files with the total length of one hour so after you have left the program on a while, it uh, will have downloaded a few mp3 files from the radio stream. So we will go into the directory of the program and into the directory that has been created the first time you uh, started the application. And in that will be another directory. Uh, this directory will have the name of the current date. and in that will be the actual mp3 files. They will be tagged. It will only know the actual time and date and it will also know the URI, like a part of the URI of the stream, but it will not know the titles of the songs of course because it's a radio stream. These uh, mp3 files you can just copy into your mp3 player or you can just put them in your media player like Winamp or <laughs> Windows Media Player. That's it basically and one last thing, if you are more like a nerd, you can also edit some advanced settings. And these settings will be written once you exit the program. So when I exit the program, there will be a new settings file and you can edit those. And uh, this is, here you can see the directory where the mp3 files will be saved to. So the current directory and then the ripped subdirectory. Like here, you can change this to any directory you want. 
as long as this program I can write there ob obviously uh, this thing is not so interesting uh, this is the file byte limit this is the size of the mp3 files that it will be split into so this is like four megabytes so every four megabytes there will be a new mp3 file uh, this is useful in, because in radio what I often have is that there is some song which I don't like so I want to skip it but if it would be one very big file you'd have to like skip a few minutes which will take forever but if you can just skip to the next song which will be f like a few minutes later if it is split like this in four MB files then well it will be much faster but you can uh, change the, f the file size it will be split into. So after you change it you can save this and the next time you start it it will uh, use those settings. So as you can see this is which URL you filled in last here. Okay so uh, thank you for using my application and uh, watching this video. Uh, good luck and uh, have fun with it.